me out. Hear me out. 20 year anniversary since we last won the Invincibles. The owner has just won in every other major sport. This is the next one that's left. Our team last season only, only lost the league by a little bit. Our team the season before that only missed out on top four by a little bit. The season before that, we were eighth. The progression is there. We're going out there looking to sign the likes of Declan Rice, Caicedo, and improve the squad massively. We're, we're, we're going to be in the Champions League for the first time in like six years. And now we could potentially be on the cusp of winning our first Premier League title in 20 years. Liverpool, when they won their league title, if I'm not mistaken, it was 30 years anniversary to the last time they won the league title. Listen, I'm telling you guys. You guys clip this, do whatever you want, post it, I don't care. I believe that next season is destined for Arsenal to win it. And you guys talking about Man City. Let me tell you something about Man City. Manchester City are potentially going to win the Champions League on Saturday. And when they do win the Champions League, people are just going to be talking about Arsenal, rent-free in Arsenal. They're going to be saying, oh, Arsenal this, Arsenal that. Arsenal haven't won a Champions League. Yes, we haven't. But if we win the league next year, it's going to be because Manchester City are not going to be able to do the impossible, which is to go and win four league titles in a row. Has Have you ever heard of a Premier League team winning four league titles in a row? Has it ever happened? Has it ever happened in since the Premier League started? No. No one, even Manchester United's great teams, were never able to do four in a row. They were able to do three in a row once. If these guys are able to, if these guys do the impossible and do four in a row, you got you to gotta give it up to them. But I think it's our opportunity. I think it's Arsenal's opportunity to slide in there next year and take advantage of this and run with it. Hopefully we can do it. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update. You guys know Thomas Partey. With everyone leaving, one positive thing I, I seen yesterday was that Thomas Partey, there's no rumors of Thomas Partey being sold. There's actually rumors of Thomas Partey being extending his contract. Um, I, seen it, I seen it today from CBS Sports. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, Iga, uh, three P twice. Don't disrespect us. Yeah, you did a three P twice, and you stopped us from doing. Uh, you know what? These guys, these guys are annoying. These guys are annoying because rivals are. These rivals. I don't really watch too much of this stuff, but let me show you guys this. For the title, or do you think it's just clearly second? Clearly second. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, clearly second. I, I, What's I, 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 I hate saying that. The clearly... midfielders are going to have to come okay, and integrate. I, I think Liverpool will clearly be. The Van Dijk's off the country, a little bit. No in Liverpool will clearly be the second best team in the country next season. What are they smoking? Like, I get it. Liverpool has done it before. They've been they've been the better team. But who will be who will be the biggest challenge for Man City next season? Surely it has to be Arsenal. You know what? I like this, guys. We should embrace this. This is them writing us off before the season even started. No pressure. Once again, next season we're going to come in and we're going to shock the world. That's what it's going to have to be because this is the kind of rhetoric we're going to hear for the remainder of the summer. I'm not sure about the Canate. only potential real mess here is that there, I don't know what's going to happen, but there is talk of going to an Ambernardo leaving and Laporte. Yeah, so but it's, it's a big rebuild. I know mate, eventually mate, it's going to hit massive. at some point. It's going to hit us at some point. Do you hear that? Man City might have a big rebuild. That means Arsenal are going to have an opportunity to jump in there. They're going to go to Bernardo's City's, massive. City is so much built around midfielders. And yeah. when you look at the quality of yeah. the years that you've had, if you were losing yeah. a centre-back or a right-back or even a winger, like with Jesus and Sterling, it's just the midfielders. But you won't you lose them all. I know we always think that they go again. If they win the treble, mentally to go again, I, I think we'll do that but I don't think it's a set in stone. I've done you know that. what? I'm changing it. Liverpool title. Oh, I'm mate. I Why is it Liverpool title? What? There's no Arsenal to... Can, you know what? I got to I gotta just embrace it. I got to get embrace it. I can't get triggered by it. I'm not doing that again. I did that with it. you last year. I've got much more to than City. I'm changing, changing it. it. I'm changing it. I think Liverpool... Why are we yeah, saying... Winning. Why are we all in agreement winning? that well, Arsenal really don't challenge yeah, at the very top? I think this is the closest they'll ever I just think they'll... What? They said that about us in the top four. This is the closest we're going to come. They say they say that every year. This is the closest we're going to come. Every year. This is the closest we're going to come. This is the closest we're going to come. Keep writing us off. Keep writing us off every time. Keep writing us off. We're going to come back and show you. Keep writing us off. Fucking love it. Stuff for the law. Sorry for swearing. It, the, the, I could, that could come back to bite me, but yeah. I don't care. This I is think, the closest I think they'll ever come. I don't think it's going to be a terrible season for them, though. Why? Why? Yeah. Because I do. I don't think you can stay at the top of the table for 247 days okay, and but, then not win it. And what I about think that experience from doing that? Doesn't yeah. matter. Plus, potentially Declan Rice coming into that midfield. Potentially. I, don't, I still think it's more than De just Declan Rice. 
<sighs> okay, you know what? She's right. We need more than just Declan Rice. We need to at least get two midfielders, potentially three, two defenders, at least five signings coming in this window. But to people who are writing us off, you are making a massive mistake for writing off Arsenal Football Club. Maybe it's a little bit of banter. Maybe it's a little bit of fear. But we currently have a team that has made massive strides year in, year out, improving categorically by points, by uh, but not only by points, by style of play and how we control games. In addition to that, we're adding more quality to our team with Declan Rice, potentially Caicedo and, and other players coming in. And with the experience that we brought in last season, coming into this season, and of course, City also getting rid of some of their players that were part of these crucial wins, like Gundogan, like Bernardo Silva, like Laporte, some of these guys who are, might be leaving. If they, if, they, if they can find a way to slip up, it opens up the opportunity for us. And for Liverpool to jump up ahead of us again, they would need to go and spend massively in their midfield and bring in three quality midfielders that bang right away. Where Arsenal, we already have our 11. We already have our set team. We only need two pieces to come in and a bunch of squad depth. Where Manchester United, they need like five starters. Chelsea, they need like seven starters. Liverpool, they need like four starters. If I'm not mistaken with, uh, sorry, three star. Uh, you, I would say three uh you know what? Maybe Liverpool don't need three starters. Liverpool need three midfielders to add squad depth, and then and then a, and then a right back. So Liverpool need four players. Liverpool are four players away from being challenging again. But Arsenal, I would say, just our starting eleven alone, plus a couple options, plus a couple options, plus the fact that we were so good last season, does say we're going to be good again. I'm looking at the projection and trajectory that we're on with such a young team and a young squad. We're only going to get better. Everyone who's saying this was the best it was going to be, you said that when we got top four. I mean, when you when we missed out on top four. We weren't even supposed to get top four this season based on some of your opinions. So I'm not going to take anyone's opinions for nothing. I love the fact that you're writing us off. Continue to write us off forever. And we're going to show you guys next year when we win the goddamn Premier League. And every single one of you guys in the chat, get gas Because this is going to be the biggest summer transfer window in Arsenal Football Club's history. I'm out of here, people. You guys already know what it is. I got to go. I'm going to catch you guys on the flip side. Love for the love, people. Where is everyone? Uh, I hope everyone in the comment section is doing well. I'm going to see if I see if I miss any uh, comments that you uh, that, that was going there. But big up to everyone. I see you guys in the chat. I see all the regulars. I see Speak Facts always hating. Speak Facts always hating in the chat. Uh, but yeah, you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. I'm out of here. And you know what? As always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I'll be back maybe... Uh, Sunday because there's probably not going to be news on Champions League Saturday but enjoy yourselves what do you guys think the prediction is for the Champions League I'm going I'm going 3-1 City I think City win what do you get what are you guys saying for the Champions League what's your predictions let me know in the comment section right now before we go and also hit that goddamn like button we're not even past 100 likes the stream's about to end we haven't hit 100 likes what's going on what's going on